there was a court case happening about Judas Priest. These parents were taking Judas Priest to court. I, I have to look it up, and, but they were taking them to court because their son committed suicide. And he was pl playing nonstop Judas Priest before that. So they, of course, had to blame the band for a suicide. And that's when that stuff all started, I think. And yeah. move forward to Tipper Gore days. <laughs> and it was so interesting that, you know, in all these American Senate hearings they were having on this, which is really crazy that, oh, there's a million things going on in the world, but we're going to argue about some old Black Sabbath lyrics in Twisted Sister. <laughs> but the fact that John Denver came out and he was like in support of all of metal, he's like, nope, it's all good. It's art. Deal with it. Because he was such a beloved in the antithesis of all those bands that you were talking about in the 80s. And <laughs> yeah. Like, this is the guy who recorded a Christmas album with the Muppets. <laughs> I, I think the best thing that came out of that was the warning label on all the CDs. Because <laughs> to me, when I see that word, oh, I guess that's for me. <laughs> that's what I was looking for when I, you know, in the early 90s, when I was looking for punk rock, right? I was looking for that parental advisory logo. So thank you, D. Snyder and the PMRC for that. 